is today's news. Yes, news on the hour. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. There are long lines and delays at airports across the country as millions of people try to make it home for the holidays. Just waiting in line to get on an airplane. Oh, That's long a long line. Get here plenty early if you're leaving. <laughs> Airlines have scrapped thousands of flights. Drivers are experiencing whiteout conditions on highways. And people are making preps at home ahead of a massive winter storm. CBS's Janet Shamley in Houston, Texas. The warnings are out for people, for plants, for pipes, and pets. And if you drive around the neighborhoods near where we are, which is close to downtown, you see everything covered. A lot of people have foliage that goes all year round because of the climate here. You see the white tarps over everything. President Biden staying put in Washington. In a brief set of remarks, the president wished the country peace this holiday season. Our politics has gotten so angry, so mean, so partisan. He said that's not in the spirit of Christmas. I sincerely hope this holiday, how this holiday season will drain the poison that has infected our politics and set us against one another. Mr. Biden left the East Room without taking questions. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Washington. The Senate did pass a $1.7 trillion bill to fund the government through next fall today, and it includes more aid for Ukraine as well as disaster relief for communities hit by strong storms. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. A lot of ups and downs, but in the end, a great result that really helped the American people. That measure now heads to the House. A former crypto founder has been freed on bond. CBS's Peter King. A federal judge says Sam Bankman freed can live under house arrest with his parents in California after posting a $250 million bond. The arraignment comes a day after two of Bankman Freed's closest associates pled guilty to charges that included wire securities and commodities fraud. Bankman Freed says he hasn't done anything wrong. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he's ready for peace talks with Ukraine following President Zelensky's quick trip to Washington. More now from CBS's Mary Alushnia. Putin's spokesperson said that this trip showcases how the U.S. is committed to policy of fighting Russia, quote, until the last Ukrainian. That's again reiterating this very common Kremlin narrative that the United States is pushing Ukraine to fight with Russia. Target is recalling thousands of pillow fort weighted blankets over reports of young children getting trapped and suffocating. At least two kids have died. The retailer is now urging people to stop using them immediately. On Wall Street, the Dow closed at, uh, down 348 points. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.